I don't know, guys, like, first impressions of this downtown. Actually, like, it's, for me, it's like small Toronto, guys. It's pretty clean, it's, it's feel like safe, you know, like, not a bunch of homeless people. What I used to see uh, <laughs> by living in Toronto, guys. It was boxing, it was judo, it was gym, it was sambo. I feel feelings that I can't describe. I'm not breathing, but I'm still alive. Whoa. Okay guys, I'm still sleepy. I hope you didn't expect like a bunch of energy from me today. I'm from actually I like starting from like a couple of hours after while I woke up. I'm actually I'm usually sleepy. <laughs> okay guys, I'm wrapping up with my breakfast. It was like in British style. Some sausage. Sausage it was pretty fatty, I should say, like for me. And this eggs with cheese inside, like it was kind of awesome. I don't know why I love this idea. I will try it at home probably. So yeah, guys, I'm still sleepy. If you expect me to get like a full energy, actually, it's not the case for me. Like two hours after I wake up, I'm usually sleepy until I will get my morning coffee. And that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. Another feature I'm going to mention it here, like I love, like every everywhere you can find some chargers in here, like. Type C type, for example, USB, and without any problem, you can work from here. It's kind of useful for me. And for example, I'm a developer, I like to see some technical stuff in here around, so it's about convenience. So yeah, guys, some bottom line about this breakfast experience. It was it was pretty decent, I should say. Uh, the, something like paper plates. I don't know if you're not used to see like this in hotels. It would be, it would looks like a bit more expensive if it's uh, if it if it would like normal like regular place you know not not a paper. For me it was like some kind of Christmas market vibe like to have having this uh, paper place. But yeah, it's still okay and it was it was delicious. So yeah, guys, everything was good with this breakfast and coffee was also by the way was good and yeah. So now guys, we're going to find this uh, local market. Because usually I'm trying to find some market and I would advise you to do the same. That's exactly the place where you can feel this vibe of the city. To maybe to buy some local stuff, like something, I don't know what you prefer to buy. And yeah, exactly. And we're going to find some another place where to grab another coffee for today. And it's going to be some pretty good place I'm going to share with you guys. And yeah, that's almost it about this whole experience. We're going to wrap up our stuff in here, all our belongings. And... Yeah, we're going to go to downtown and explore this city. All right, guys, it's time to say goodbye to this beautiful hotel. Actually, it's not like hotel, it's apartments. It's all this like small kitchen. It was pretty good, guys, pretty good. And yeah, the plan is going to be next. We're going to explore this market, local market, try some coffee in some awesome place. And we probably will explore this Western University, which actually pretty fine and should be interesting place to explore. And we're going to make some shopping. And it's shopping, we need to find Zara in here and try to buy some jeans to my wife because it's hard to find some jeans. So yeah, guys, stay tuned. I'm feeling it. My bones telling me it's right. It's so different. Take me to the light, it's like a cigarette. Okay, guys, long story short, we get back to this parking space in downtown. Uh, and actually, guys, just uh, be aware, it's like two different um, parking parking applications since here, like uh, Honk Mobile and um, Parkadin. So I just tried Parkadin, and it was for me like uh, about 15 bucks for six hours. And it's like sounds actually like crazy price. I don't know why it's so expensive. So you can park like 30 minutes or it's going to be like six hours. I need like a couple of hours. So uh, that's why I ended up with uh, going to Honk Mobile. It's just next to this parking Like it's almost the same like parking space. I don't know. It's kind of weird, guys. And in here I just paid just only four bucks for two hours. Only four bucks. And I'm going to like if I'm going to add some one more hour, it's going to be like only two bucks per hour. So just something to keep in mind, you know, guys, if you're going to park in here, just try some different applications like on mobile and parking. And by the way, uh, I will try to left some links for these applications under this video in, in the description section. 
so just check this out and yeah guys let's go i'm still understanding just how you You guys definitely must have to see what this market's place. And this is Monday, and by the way, it's work and fine. And you can grab some food, it's like food market actually. You can grab some food and you can uh, take in the stairs, like in here. You can uh, get to second floor and you can eat something in here. It's a bunch of tables, it's open space, it's free. And yeah, without any problem, you can just uh, eat something in here. Okay guys, perfect timing to make some shots, like no sun, <laughs> I'm like in the shadow. So this is Black Walnut Cafe just right behind me. Uh, this place must have to see, must have to visit, guys, it's just it's a pretty good place, it's, uh, it's a bunch of people, it's, it's crowded. And what does it mean? It means it's popular, you know, guys. And you can, you can find like numerous variation of something to, to try here, you know. You can buy coffee, what exactly I did, and you can just enjoy this sitting here and, and having some coffee. Because it, actually it's kind of a good place. I believe it's not only one in here, this Black Walnut Cafe. It's a couple of more in London you can find. And yeah guys, firmly recommend this place. It's definitely worth it to visit. And we, we are heading to Western University. I probably will check, check out um, some shopping, some local shopping. Thank you for watching this guy.
small friends so just right after this uh, mall experience shopping actually it was successful and then finally we were able to find some jeans for my wife uh, the price was about 60 bucks i believe in zara i don't know zara like usually doing fine you know like and i see like you need to find your brand and once you find it so it's a, almost every time it's hit you you know so that's kind of yeah it's kind of what it was and about this mall in London, it's, it's actually like a pretty decent one, I should say. Like we don't have such a mall in St. Catharines because St. Catharines is more like suburb area, you know, guys. But in here, it's definitely like a city. Like it's not a huge city, but I don't know, like it feels after Toronto, it feels like some small Toronto, I don't know. Because in, it feels like safe in here and yeah, like this mall something to to make some shopping seem definitely bigger than in St. Catharines than we used to see in St. Catharines. And yeah, definitely guys, something like to consider to live actually. I mean here in London, because it's a, it's a, it's a good place to live, I believe. And a bunch of entertainments, a bunch of local uh, foods, what you can try, like something, some, some cafe, some restaurants, I don't know, like, yeah, definitely a bunch of stuff to, to enjoy, to have fun here, to spend some time here. So guys, yeah, I'm actually I'm wrapping up this vlog. It's not going to be like, I'm not going to show everything what this London have actually, because it's a bunch of more uh, places what you can explore here. Not this time, probably next time I will see and explore another one in other places. For example, like storybooks, gardens, like it's definitely a good place to visit with your kids, you know, As, but this, this is almost like end of March and it's still like not a season. Today we've got just lovely weather, guys. It's so warm weather. But just yesterday it was like extremely cold. It was about zero, this uh, strong wind. Like it wasn't good weather to just walking around and exploring the city. Just not a good weather for definitely like sticking around. So yeah, guys. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to left a bunch of links, useful links, what you can explore by yourself. Like at least 20 places I'm going to share with you with under this video so just don't forget to explore it just check this out and yeah guys subscribe to my channel a bunch of more videos coming up and I'm going to create something interesting for you so just stay tuned don't forget to subscribe because you will never see me again in here on YouTube because YouTube is huge thing <laughs> and it's hard to find you guys so yeah stay tuned I'm going to catch you in the next one bye peace out